Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 74. As always, I'm Shane. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also go to codecrowdy.com, sign up for the newsletter. And speaking of newsletters, that's exactly what we're going to be going over today. How do you create a newsletter list or an email subscriber list on your Drupal website? There are many options and the one I'm going to go over today is using the Drupal MailChimp module with integration into MailChimp.com which is an email marketing and newsletter delivery service. There are many other options such as Constant Contact, Campaign Monitor and many others for third-party services. You can also use Simple News which will create a newsletter subscription framework on your Drupal site without using any third-party service at all. And I may go over that in a video in the future. But today we're going over MailChimp. So if you want to use MailChimp, you have to first sign up on MailChimp.com. It is free, I think up to 2,000 subscribers and so many emails. I'm not sure exactly. I use the free version for CodeCrowdy.com and it's big enough for me right now. So it can get pretty big depending on what you need and for most people it will be free to use unless you get a very big list going. So go ahead and sign up there and then download the MailChimp module. You'll also need to download the Entity module as well. So make sure you get those two downloaded. We'll hop over to the test site here and I will look on the modules page and you can see I already have the Entity API and Entity Tokens modules downloaded and installed. I've also turned on the MailChimp module and the MailChimp Lists module. I'm not going to go over the Campaigns module today. I'm just going to focus on the MailChimp and the MailChimp Lists. After you sign up on MailChimp.com, you're going to go to your account section and you're going to need to create an API key. Then you're going to click this button and paste that API key in on that page. So that's the first step. Once you get that far, you're going to be able to start importing your lists. So you click on the configure for the MailChimp lists module and we're going to add a list. Basically you have to map the lists from MailChimp to your lists you want to pull down onto your website. So on MailChimp.com you're going to go into your you're going to go in and actually create a list. So we'll go ahead and say this is just a test list as I mentioned before you, you're gonna have to m create one on MailChimp.com first since I want anonymous users to be able to sign up I need to select freeform you can also uh, make users double opt-in so that means they'll get an email and they must also confirm that as far as roles, I want anonymous and authenticated roles. And then I have to select the list that I want. So you'll have to actually, as it says here, if the field is empty, you'll need to create a list first. If you create a list on MailChimp and it's not showing up, just go ahead and clear the cache and then it should pop in. I'm going to select my test list. You then need to select different merge fields so here it's going to allow you to select different fields so you could create a field on your user account for first name and then you would be able to map this field and then you can create a field on your user account for last name and map that field as well and basically that'll map the first name and last name fields to the first and last name fields on your user account I'm going to go ahead and just leave those at the defaults though and now I have a test list. You can of course refresh lists. That's going to do the same thing and pull down the, any new lists that you have instead of clearing the cache which also works. Now this should allow us to begin creating a block, that a subscription block that we can add to our site. So let's go ahead and check that that is available now. Now you see there's a mail su mail chimp subscription form and it's using the test list. So let's go ahead and put this on the first sidebar. And we'll put this up just below the search form and we'll save that. 
and then check it out. As you can see, there's a subscribe to test list, and this is just pulled from our description. Now, if you come to the site as an anonymous user, you're going to be able to see the sign up form. You can, of course, sign up. Now it's going to say that I'm going to get an email. I'm going to be able to click that link and confirm, and I am signed up for the list. So it's it's that simple to go ahead and get signed up or set up with a newsletter subscription service like MailChimp using the MailChimp module. You can also look at the campaigns if you want to actually pull in your campaign information. That can be definitely a handy tool to have on your Drupal site. But as I mentioned, and as you've just seen, it's very easy to get set up and going, and now you can use MailChimp to send emails to all the people who sign up to your site and keep in contact with them. Until next time, thanks for watching the Daily Dose of Drupal. See you later.